Hello, my name is Mathieu Lamé. I'm CEO of InnoCype Technologies, a pure play open daylight company, and I've been involved in the Boulder project from the ONF uh, Foundation under Open Source SDN uh, initiative. And Boulder is the intent framework uh, for multiple controllers that allows you to have a right once run everywhere environment for uh, SDN applications. So basically to understand this, what is intent? Well, the first epoch of SDN really started with open flow specific applications. So you needed to really be uh, a good uh, environment to um, understand this context. And so it was difficult for people to write applications. Uh, you needed to have the right knowledge on what flows, what things to do, and how to do the, the different environments. But the solution to that is really to have uh, an intent in uh, intentions or intent for your network. So what is intent? What is it actually? It's, intent is really a prescriptive, um, is a non-prescriptive environment. So uh, what you actually do is you tell your network what to do, not how to do it. Um, so intent is really portable as well. So you can bring it from one environment to another. Intent is also universal, so everything can be expressed as intent. So when I say non-prescriptive, it's really to tell the network um, uh, or to tell the environment what, uh, what you're targeting or what you're aiming for uh, in a very high level construct so that the controllers have the latitude to really fulfill this goal, right? And so, the future of, uh, of SDN is through this notion of intent, which allows to have a proper application plane and control plane separation, where your applications are not bound to the specific controller or control plane uh, environments or flows or management uh, at that layer. So the, really the future is, how do you write SDN applications in the future? You have the ability to say, connect this to that, or modify this type of traffic, apply policies to traffic for this and that reason. So you really are managing the resources that the application uh, can do, and then the controller manages the, the life cycle and the different per parts of the environment. So the way we actually did this was, um, the o have the ONF focus on an open intent runtime. That was the missing layer between controller and applications that allows you to leverage this uh, in, in, uh, in an open context. So it, it's similar to the Java JVM for SDN, right? So you basically go from source code to intent code down to a Boulder runtime or a Boulder environment and then, or APIs, and uh, down to the host controller. So that really is the flow that allows you to have that portability for applications. So the way you actually would create an application is by creating this application root or this application package structure with different manifests and things of what your application requires and then leverage that and be, like, provide the right level of portability of that application package across different environments. That can be done through either a declarative or imperative way, so either through an API or through a runtime that's actually co-localized with the controller. How do we actually create this intent or how do we actually create this um, non-prescriptive way of managing networks? Well, it's through grammar and that grammar actually follows a subject predicate object type of structure, a little bit like you actually create a language or, or grammar for um, uh, to express what you're trying to do. So Bob connects Alice at 10 gig for nine, from nine to 10, actually translate to subject, predicate, object, where uh, you have a target and different constraints on time and uh, conditions for that thing. Um, the project is that's an, it's very, uh, is a new project uh, and uh, we are looking at getting community involvement. Um, and how do you actually map uh, the Boulder to Onos, the Onos project, right? So we map Boulder to Onos through these steps where the application maps to Boulder and then Boulder uh, has a runtime engine for Onos which then translated to Onos native intents that are supported by uh, Onos. So it actually gets pushed and translated into host-to-host -host intent in this case.
For Open Daylight, what we did is we did a native interface for the Boulder information model. So it actually passes through by going from application to Boulder, Boulder runtime, and then goes directly to um, uh, Open Daylight interface. So that's the demo application that we've done. Um, and that demo application actually goes from an uh, endpoint down to a shared environment and then to another endpoint. And what it, this allows you to do is control with the same um, environment or same runtime multiple um, uh, controller domains. You can find the demonstration video and source code and code review at the following uh, URLs. Uh, you can leverage Boulder to create a variety of applications and change the way you will uh, actually leverage open source controller in your projects. Boulder will make it easier for you to create portable apps across different environments. Uh, we look forward to your engage engagement in the Boulder project.